The dinner lady said, It's very rude to reach over the table for the salt. Haven't you got a tongue in your head? Yes, but my arms are longer. Ha ha ha. There you go. Another classic joke. I was just thinking, and a good advantage of having a slideshow as a track is that you can add subtitles. You can say what's going on in the video. How cool is that? Well, sorry, what's going on in each picture, which is brilliant. Remember how to tell it to play with the um, to play like that. Click on our button, the photo gallery button. Go to advanced subtitle and choose the subtitle stream. And you remember how to add one, you just click on the light and it automatically creates one. And then you can start adding subtitles, say like man in mask looking cheese, which makes no sense, but you can have fun doing that. So what a few finishing touches we can do. Well, we're getting to the end of creating this DVD. This is this is a simplified version of the process. Obviously, you want to create videos for all of the things. Remember the key things that you do. You want to set end jumps. Just watch these over and over again. Copy what I do. Do uh, Watch a bit. Pause it. Try and remember it. Then watch a bit more. And do stuff like that. Just keep on working at it. What else can we do? There isn't really much else we can do. Because we've covered all of the main things that you can do. So... Burning, how do we go about burning? Well, click on an empty space. I use single layer disks, so I don't need to mess about with anything else. My disks are 12 centimeters. I like to set mine just to my region because I think that that way I can, you know, no idea, try to rip people off. It will not do copyright unless you. Do a pressing disc. So if you are doing copyright, you can set it to one copy, no copy, you know, that sort of thing. But I can't, obviously. And you don't need to talk about any of this advanced stuff because that's nothing to do with it. Obviously, name your disc. We've got everything set up, and then you literally just hit burn, which is very simple. I don't have a disc in, so it's not going to work. But Okay, I cancelled the job, thanks for reminding me. Oh, we got all this cool stuff, it's all going brilliantly. What else could we want? And that's why I really like DVD Studio Pro, I feel like I'm really powerful with it. However, the one thing I do really like is I prefer Encore, Encore DVD, this one down here. I do prefer its flowchart because you can, like, say we had a menu here, it displays all of the buttons underneath and then you can pick whip which is like click on one and drag to the file that you want it to link to and then it does it automatically so that's like that's everything to know about DVD, DVD Studio Pro really that's all of the main criteria in creating some really professional looking discs you can was it you can use your own um, buttons instead because obviously these are square, they can, they might not look very professional. You can change them under style, change the shape. You can bring in your own Photoshop documents and that have shapes. They must have alpha channels, obviously. Otherwise, it won't work. But you can have your own shapes, which is pretty cool. So this is just a basic thing to get you started. I'll do some more DVD Studio Pro. I might just do some quick ones with quick tips. I might do some in-depth ones to add some really cool stuff and this that and the other if you want me to do videos explaining how to create all these backgrounds and stuff then let me know but you should be set with that already I'm sure there's, you'll be able to find videos for that but yeah that's pretty much it so I'll get back to you soon but before we go one more joke let me just do, 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 skim through most of the jokes I don't get right where did the vampire open his savings account at a blood bank This is unfunny. Oh, guys. Oh, don't know if you guys have seen, but good news. Check this out. Final Cut Studio 3 has been released. Or is it good news? I mean, I have like an academic version, which means I have to pay £718. Yeah? Because I can't upgrade.
DVD Studio Pro 4. But like, I'm already using DVD Studio Pro 4. I mean, yeah, color 1.5, why, why not 2? Well, obviously there's not enough differences, yeah? Compressor 3.5, well, it's just up by 0.5, cool. Motion 4, Soundtrack Pro, yeah, Final Cut Pro 7. I would love to use Final Cut Pro 7. I'd love to use the whole Final Cut Studio's workflow. I mean, I'm pleased I got it and everything, um, but like, it's just... If I'm adding an effect to something, I'd like to see what it's doing, but Final Cut Pro, like, you, you add an effect, you press play, and it's like, beep, unrendered, unrendered, unrendered. It's just, shut up. Let me watch what I'm doing. I don't know why professionals use it with that such much limitation. I mean, is there a secret thing? I mean, I've seen Apple Soldier's cool little video that shows you how to play back 10 seconds, but that's 10 seconds, guys. I mean, come on. Premiere Pro, add an effect, play it back. Vegas, add an effect, play it back. Avid, don't even get me started about Avid. I mean, I tried using it, I, I downloaded the demo. What is going on? I, I really don't get it. Um, there's, there's like no timeline. You like add a clip and just, uh, please someone do some tutorials for Avid. I would love to find somewhere. You know what? Should, should I save up for it? It's like two hundred and something quid for if you're a student. So yeah, I'll get that and teach you guys if I can work it out for myself. Save up for that. Also got Maya to think about. Uh, but yeah, so is this worth it? I don't know because I'm using DVD Studio Pro Four already, and that's like one of the only the main ones I use. I use a bit of color every now and then, but I don't think it's worth the money. I mean, 250 quid upgrade, yeah, it's worth it if you've got a full one, but not for me. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Hope you liked my DVC Studio Pro training, and I'll leave you guys with a joke. What is it? How do you know carrots are good for your eyesight? Did you ever see a rabbit wearing glasses? That is why carrots are good for your eyes. It's carrots, sorry, because rabbits never wear glasses. Well, remember, check out the other tutorials on the website, www.learnsoftwaretoday.weebly.com. I'm Daniel Allen, and I'll speak to you guys soon.